Hello, Nazi. Hello, Nazi. Hello, Nazi. Oh, there we go. Third time's a charm. Alright guys, we are at location number two in Indianapolis, Indiana, a giant spirit Halloween here that is right next to a Home Depot. I do not know what this used to be and I can't quite make it out, but it says K-I-T-T -T before it goes under the spirit sign. And then you can see over here where it said furniture. So it was some kind of a furniture store. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's go in. I want to see what all kinds of awesome Halloween goodness they have inside the second location of Indianapolis, Indiana. Oh yeah, baby, this is an enormous store. I love these huge stores and look who they have front and center. They have a ghost face inflatable and Lord Farquaad shaking his head. I love when they take the initiative and they put things in the spaces as they sell out of the animatronics. Isn't that right, Lord Farquaad? And look over here, speaking of, we have a Fright in the Box over here where Monty would be. Holy crap, look how huge he is. You guys know just how big Monty is. And look at the Fright in the Box taking up Monty's cage. He takes up the entire thing. Holy crap, he's so big. All right, let's move on through the Dr. J. Reaper Monster Laboratory. We have Grim over here, but look at this, guys. We have another inflatable over here. It's the spooky tree. I love these inflatables. Step back here so you can see the whole thing. I don't know how tall he's supposed to be. I think he's about four and a half feet. I am five feet tall, and he's not quite as tall as me. I think he is awesome, but I actually prefer the spooky trees that have, like, the ghosts and the pumpkins on the branches, like you'll see some where the ghosts are flying around the branches and there will be pumpkins down at the bottom by the roots or on one of the branches themselves. Nonetheless, he is pretty dang awesome, but let's go over here and check out Mr. Grimm. We have to say hello to Grimm. Hello to Grimm. Oh, I see you're moving your arm. Are you going to talk to us? Come on now. Come on now. Okay, maybe not. There he goes. Now he's working. Look at the eyes blazing through the night. Who do we have over here? Nobody, but wait a minute. We have the spooky wires. All right, guys, we got a whole stack of animatronics over here. Look at all these things. We got two Betty Sharps here. How many deadly creepers does one guy need? We got one, two, three, four, five. I think we have six, six, seven deadly creepers, guy. How crazy is that? And we have four nozzles. Look at this. One, two, three, four nozzles the clown with this giant jalapeno nose. What is this we have back here? We have two of the sandworm groundbreakers. Look, we have the deadly creeper over here. This is the first time I've seen him down here instead of like put up on a wall or something. He's still trying to get us with his deadly tentacles though. Oh, wait a minute. We almost forgot Punchy over here. He's pretty well inflated in this store too. Not as good as the last one, but let's see if we can get him going. Come on, Punchy. I'm a clown. Yeah, you are. You're a fool. Who's yeah, okay. All right, don't even say it. Bad words, bad words. All right, guys, I just gave them some stickers over there. Let's go in here and see what we can see with what in the world is this atrocity. It's the swinging witch, although she's not really swinging. We, oh my gosh, look at the bubbles of death, guys. They're so murky and foggy. It must be because they have people's heads in there that they are disintegrating. All right, let's keep moving, guys. Let's come back here and see if we can get Nazi going. Hello, Nazi. Hello, Nazi. Hello, Nazi. Oh, there we go. Third time's a charm. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to work, but he's actually working. Let's see if he has the, the bald spot on his head. Yes. Big bald spot on the back of his head. All right, we have a little bit more to look at over there, but it's kind of busy right now, so let's come on over here and see if we can find bad breath. Oh, look, we found it. 
<laughs> no, really, I want to see if I can find some zombie babies. And I do see one, but that's all. It's one spider biter Billy. That is it. He's all alone here eating his spiders. We are, however, going to take this disgusting thing here, put it down with the rest of its family, and then we will take this and put it down here and put some stickers in the bucket. Do we have any cats over here? What the heck, man? These cats are selling out quick, guys. We don't have any creeping cats. We don't have any secret keeping cats. We do have more inflatables here, and we have a creepy crimson girl on a swing, a scarecrow archway, two killer clowns inflatables, a fright in the box. We have tombstones. We have haunted trees. We have hand grabber mechanisms, devil door knockers, vampire door knockers, and Frankenstein sidesteppers. All right, guys, let's come back over here because it's our chance to see Betty Sharp now. Is she gonna work? Come on, Betty. Come on, Betty. My sister used to be mommy's favorite, but I took care of that. She's <laughs> in the bag. The bag of death. We have an inflatable tombstone here. Here is the inflatable coffin with the skeleton inside. And this thing actually looks so cool, guys. When I first saw it, I didn't really like it all that much, but seeing it set up and blown up I like it a lot. All right, let's see. We got a lot of Hocus Pocus stuff here, but I do not see Billy Butcherson's head unless it's over here with the rest of the Hocus Pocus stuff. They have a lot of Hocus Pocus stuff in the stores this year. We have a lot. Well, we have three of the Beetlejuice hanging five foot snakes. All right, let's come on over and go through the electrical tunnel of death. Ooh, it is quiet and creepy in there now. Although I do hear the floor already going crazy and the electrical death is going crazy. That child ran because he didn't want to be killed by electrical death. Or he may just have been creeped out by the guy in there getting killed by the electrical death. All right, let's head over this way, guys, and see if there's anything that we are missing that we haven't really seen in any other stores. And I do not see anything. They have a whole bunch of Chuckles Pops. I don't think people are buying a whole lot of these this year, unless they just had a plethora of them and sent them out to the stores. We do have the Gremlins bobblehead, but I do not see Michael Myers or Leatherface or Ghostface. I do, however, see Crouchy. I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to have to hurry up and get around to the rest of these stores because they are starting to clear out quick. They have one set of the Killer Clowns hand puppets left. I don't know if I should buy these or not. I want them, but then again, I don't really want them. But then again, I do want them, but then again, I don't want them. I do see that they have the Sam trick-or-treat knife. And then over here, I noticed they also have the Crouchy knife. I am not seeing... Well, I mean, they have a little bit of ghost face stuff, but man... This must have been a hot seller this year, guys. They have the blue mask, they have the purple mask, and that is like all they have in the ghost face section. Look at this, they don't even have any Michael Myers masks left. They do have some of these Nightmare on Elm Street masks. Look at that, how hilarious is that? <laughs> That must be from Nightmare on Elm Street number 76, back from the coffin. All right, let's go back here one more time because I do not remember if we looked at the mask section or not, and I'm just curious if they have any Michael Myers or Freddy from Nightmare 4. I do not see any, guys. Wow, this store appears to be completely sold out of Michael Myers and Freddy Part 4. All right, guys, I think we've seen pretty much everything there is to see in here. It's a pretty busy store. Let's go through the tunnel one more time. Sorry, little child, that guy was running fast and nothing tried to kill me this time. Let's leave the witch a couple of stickers here before we go. Let's put them right on her lap. There you go, miss. All right, there you go, guys. Store number two in Indianapolis, Indiana. Store number 85 in the long run. Holy crap, we have filmed 85 stores. 85 Spirit Halloween stores this season. 15 more to go. Stay tuned, subscribe, and let's do this!